Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm back. Jesus wants you. I'm Nikki Hall, the watchman on the wall. Listen, uh, I told you guys yesterday that I would come back with uh, another video. It's the very next day. Of course, yesterday tornadoes was running through cities and yeah. So, uh, of course, we're fine here. All is good. Glory to the risen king. I wanted to come to you today. I told you guys last night that I'm feeling a strong lead in a three-day fast. A three-day fast, okay, uh, for prayer. And if you see the title of this video, it says Consumed by Psalms. Consumed by Psalms. Now, when you think of consumed, you think of a biblical consume which could be like to destroy or something on that nature. But this consume is this. Consume in the dictionary to eat, drink, or ingest. We're going to eat, drink, and ingest the word of God. I don't know if a lot of you are feeling this pulling. This The Lord is drawing the body of Christ to him. More of him. For more of him. There's a pulling. There's a drawing nigh. The Lord says if we draw nigh unto him. He will draw nigh unto us. Somebody say a small prayer that my video will not cut off on me. Because there's a lot of things that I want to. I need to speak. And uh there's a prayer that I want to pray over uh, you guys before the fast starting on tomorrow. Uh, okay, so I really feel that the Lord is gonna gonna honor this fast because he's he's calling for a lot of people and there's a lot that is going on in the world that is causing all sorts of distractions okay so but we bind and we rebuke all strongholds and distractions and hindrances from over us amen so due to our obedience in his call for us drawing nigh unto him i really feel that the lord how about this i know that the lord is going to honor our fast because obedience is better than sacrifice yes there will be some sacrifices in this fast because fasting is about a sacrifice but i'm saying you are sacrificing your time unto him right to draw nigh amen okay so consumed by psalms in matthew chapter 5 verse 6 it says blessed are they who thirst and hunger after righteousness be it after righteousness, not necessarily, not just necessarily doing right, but after righteousness, the right things of God. Oh, glory to the Lord. The right things of God to pray and to fast because I don't know about you, but I need you to know if you don't see what is going on in the world, let me tell you, as the hour grows darker, we know that the, the closer it is to Jesus Christ's return, the hour is growing darker, okay? So as the hour grow darker, the Lord need us to be filled and build our spirit, okay? So in the, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 19, I should have turned there, I meant to. Uh, the book of Ephesians and Colossians 3 and 16, I think. It talks about how to be filled with the Spirit, right? It talks about how to be filled with the Spirit, and it says to pray in the Spirit, and then it says to pray always, making melodies in your heart, and um, speaking to each other in Psalms, in Psalms, in Psalms. All right, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. No, 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 no. Is that right? Yes. Um, 
Well, uh, verse Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16 says, Redeeming the time because the days are evil. 5 and 19, I'm sorry. It says, Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Colossians 3 and 16 is... The verse is like a parallel to that. It's basically saying the same thing. So what I need you to know is it is something about the book of Psalms. If you remember the video I did uh, a year and a half ago, I believe, about Psalms. I, don't, I think today is Palm Sunday. When you look at Psalms, if you turn the word, the uh look at psalms just looking at it it looked like the word palms like palms of your hand okay so there is also prayers in psalms psalms is filled with giving god praise with thanking him and it is filled with prayers okay so i want you guys to especially pray for the body of Christ, for your family, for breakthroughs, for deliverances, okay? Uh, here's a hint. You want to pray to not to become prey, P-R-E-Y. You want to pray, P-R-A-Y, to not to become prey, that's why we're praying, to the enemy and the adversary, the devil. Pray for things you want spiritually, Okay, pray for things that you want spiritually and pray for what you pray against for what you don't want to be manifested in the earth naturally. Pray against those things and pray for what you do want. So all that is saying is, of course, if you just did not understand what I'm saying, or a lot of you, when you fast, you don't even know what to pray for. All you got to do is like, well, hey, I, I don't want no plague coming out of my dwelling. COVID is out here. So you want to pray for that. You want to pray for the people in the hospital. And another thing that I need you guys to pray for, as you see today, I saw Paul Begley uh, put it up a video, a video about Indonesia. Indonesia, I remember, um, I think it's been two years now, I warned Indonesia and I think California that greater uh, judgment was coming. These people in Indonesia are getting is getting hit back to back to back to back with calamities, with tragedies. There was an explosion there today. I recently put up a video by the Spirit of God. Thank you, God. To God be the glory. A warning of explosions. Warning. Uh, Indonesia was warned by many, many, many prophets, many men and women of God, and they ceased to repent. Okay, so you want to pray for them. You want to pray for things in the world. You want to pray for spiritual growth. You want to pray for the grace of God, for the mercies of God. You want to pray for the lost. You want to pray for the hunger, the hungry. And you want to pray that the, the in the Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, it said, Blessed are they who thirst and hunger after righteousness. You want to pray that the Lord fill you, fill you. With his presence. I just got another notification here. Fill you with his presence. With his joy from on high. Deliver you for things that you want to get rid of. Okay? Deliver you for the things that you want to get rid of. In the book of Psalms. Is, prayers is written all over it. Okay? So I want you to fast with me. Pray the prayers in psalms if you don't know what to pray use these prayers and i'm gonna give you an example before i get off use the prayers in psalms you can start from psalms chapter one and let me tell you something yesterday i went to put in uh something in google chrome and i think it was about thirst and hunger or something to that nature and I kid you not, every, there were more, the scriptures that was given was all from Psalms. 
So we want to be consumed by Psalms. Let me tell you something. Consumed by Psalms to eat, to drink, and to to ingest. You want it. This is the time, you know, when you go out and um, you, you, I'm sorry, I'm in the parking lot and there are people around my car. I got, and when I pray, I would be praying with my eyes open. Hello, somebody. So, um. When you when you go out to all you can eat, and you know your your you know when you was little, you go to all you can eat restaurant, and your parent may say, "Oh, look! Now I know that sign say all you can eat, but you got too much on your plate, and you ain't gonna eat it." This is the time when you want to eat, and you can eat all you can eat, because the Lord thy God said that He is what the bread of life. So this is the time. You can get filled. He said, they shall be filled, those that thirst and hunger after righteousness. Those that thirst and hunger after him. He will fill us, okay? So, um, let's feed and love on the Lord. Let's love on the Lord as much as you can, okay? Uh, the Lord and thank him ahead of time. We're going to thank him for the victory ahead of time. That there are going to be deliverances. There's going to be healing. There are going to be miracles. Y'all, people have been sending me uh, emails about miracles uh, since a couple of videos ago that has happened to them. Uh, Keisha Cole, Lakeisha, Lakeisha Cole said she had a huge debt payoff. Praise God, right? Uh, there have been people that has been healed. People that has been delivered of, of such things, of certain uh, things and situations. And there are people that I am still in prayer for. It doesn't mean that you're not, if you're not healed or got delivered or you haven't seen victory yet, that means you need to just keep on praying. Keep on praying, okay? Keep praying, okay? For that miracle, for that mercy. Keep praying that the Lord give you your answer. We're going to be praying for direction, all right? Also, so I want you guys to write down these Psalms that also came up as I was looking for a particular scripture. And all these Psalms came up. It was like a confirmation to me. So Psalms 57, Psalms 135, Psalms 98. Psalms 71, Psalms 105, Psalms 49, Psalms 40, Psalms 101, 101, and Psalms 150, okay? These, all those came up, and I just thought, wow, how fitting. There is no coincidences with God, y'all know that. How fitting, because this is going to be, we're going to, I want you to be, if you're on your job, you can go on your lunch break and you get any time. If you go to the bathroom, you want to, and, and this is what I want you to do. In Psalms, when you see, because this is how de deliverance come, okay? When you read it in Psalms, you may see something, a scripture, and it just stands out to you. Try to memorize that. And even if you're working and you're not able to sit down before the Lord and pray, try, because the Lord knows your heart, try as much as you can, okay? And that word, that scripture that you see, highlight it, highlight it, and say, you know what? And then use, if you say, oh, this Psalms right here speaks to me and my situation, you want to believe on that thing? Okay, like the old folks say, believe on that thing. You want to pray, you want to believe in your heart that what you're asking the Lord for is going to be done. Okay, there's uh, also something came to me this morning. I don't know if there's somebody contemplating, wait, this is dealing with evil voices, evil voices i don't know who you are but you're gonna know who you are when i finish what i'm saying evil voices 
tormenting spirits is what it is. Evil voices is in your head. We bind it and we rebuke it. Uh, somebody may be contemplating. Also suicide, suicide, suicide. Kept coming to me yesterday. Suicide. I bind and rebuke and we come against that suicide spirit. I bind it and rebuke it. I decree and declare you shall live and not die. You shall live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. Don't you listen to the enemy. You will live. I don't know if, if you, you're suffering from some type of affliction or disease or uh, whatever the case may be, but know that when you hear those things, that is not from God. That is from the enemy. Because the Lord, if he was going to take you home, he brings you peace. Have you ever heard when uh, you, you may hear of older people when they get ready, and I'm using older people as an example, when they get ready to pass on, you've heard stories where they say, oh, the chariots are coming. Oh, I see the angels. And then, or, or must I say, the people that say they 